my gosh. We got one, we got one, we got one. That's a big fish. There's a fish. Oh my god. All right, y'all, well, welcome back. We have made it home from our Florida trip and we actually got in last night and Fisher called me up. I'm here with Fisher and my brother Blake. He said it was calm offshore today, so it's not exactly the calmest for our skiff, but it is definitely doable. We ran out here. It's about midday right now and water looks pretty decent. This will now be like my second official trip of the summer, so I'm pretty pumped. We just gotta watch the weather a little bit. It's a little choppy out here. Water looks pretty decent and me and Fisher are gonna hop in. Blake's gonna stay in the boat and Hopefully we can get onto some fish. I'm looking for some red snapper, mango snapper, anything that's good eating in there. So I'm gonna keep this brief, get geared up, and we're gonna hop in there. Oh gosh, thank you so much. I'm so glad I hit her. Look at that shot. Just stroked her. Wow. Look at that. She is pretty. That was a hell of a fight. We've been diving hard for that one all afternoon. Let's go. Freaking beast red snapper. Gross, man. What happened? You're throwing up? 
Did that just start or have you been doing that? Just started. <laughs> Let's get moving. Alright, look at all the lines she pulled out. Well, we're just getting ready to leave here. And uh, went down close to the bottom. Saw this giant red. And as you can tell, it hit her a little high, quartering away. Whoa! I made like a last, not like a last ditch, but she made a hard dive under the bottom rig leg, rig piling. I just pulled hard. Fortunately, I was able to get her out and swim up to the surface. Fisher was there spotting me, so I'm happy with that right there. We're getting ready to leave, so it's nice to finally get a fish today. It's been hard diving. Came out right at her eye. Shaft is out. Look at that fish, dude. That's a pretty good red snapper for anywhere, even offshore, far out there. That would go in the box. That is gonna eat good. So as I was saying, we're gonna head back in. We got some folks feeling a little queasy on the boat. I'm just happy to get that snapper. I've been, me and Fisher have been out here diving hard. Water clarity is pretty poor. Last dive, dude, or one of the last dives go down. And that was one of the very few fish I've seen today that was actually sh a shooter. I shot that first mango snapper. I thought I had her secured. She ripped off, but uh, fortunately, we were able to make another dive and find that big red. So I'm happy about it. That's gonna eat so good. Big one too, that's a chunk, that's for sure. This is what I gotta deal with. <laughs> I can't. All right, I have nothing else to say. I can't even talk right now. Uh, we just need to get rolling. It's been a pretty good afternoon, I'll say that. Easy, I come up with you, so I dive deep and I start coming up and I'm like oh. Dude, this thing is a razor blade. Where is it? Right here? That's a nice cut. I've gotten cut on that freaking thing right there. Mangroves have a bad one. Stuck have a lethal one. So before we wrap up today's video, I've actually been getting some questions about the spear gun that I use uh, in quite a few of my videos. This is a Rob Allen 100 centimeter um, roller conversion. I actually set it up with a Manny Sub roller head and what I want to do in this, uh, this segment of the video is show you guys how it shoots, the accuracy, as there is a lack of videos demonstrating uh, roller guns and specifically Rob Allen roller guns. So I've set this up myself, I've got some 14.5 as I say, mean green, small ID bands. And these are actually cut to 50 centimeters as this gun is a 100 centimeter spear gun. And pretension wise, all I do is stretch these all the way back to the anchor points right there. So that's how it's rigged up. And I guess we'll get in the pool and I'll show you guys the accuracy, the power, and then we're shooting at a full wrap. So let's go get in there. This roller has never shot better. That was a laser shot. And there you have it. Overall, super fun day. Very versatile gun. As you saw, it worked very well for that snapper and that less than ideal visibility. Um, but on the other hand, it also does really well in clear water when the fish are a bit farther. I'm happy with it. And that lack of recoil undoubtedly is a plus. So. If you guys want to check out this spear gun or any of the gear that I use, go look in the comments down below. I have Amazon affiliate links down there if you are interested. Um, but if you like the video, please drop a like. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to see more content and the like, fishing, spear fishing, 
please consider subscribing down below. I can't wait to get back out there, but until then, I'll catch y'all in the next video.